Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I'm back with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary for you guys, not MVM, just a straight up nice clean pyro gameplay on CP George, really awesome game, uh, I do some pretty weird things and it, it works out in my favour until basically the end of this video which you all see throughout this. Uh, sorry for not posting a video um, for uh, yesterday, basically. Oh wait, it depends when I upload this. If I upload it, uh, I'm trying to do regular uploads, you know, the daily uploads. So if I do decide to upload it today, which may be likely, which I'll talk about in a second, then disregard this. But if I do upload it the day after, and I didn't upload one yesterday, then I do apologise. Uh, I'm actually trying to configure Windows 8 properly, and just take a second to admire my unusual. Uh, quite proud of getting that. Uh, really does help those medics know that they can trust to heal me. So I jump down here, uh, just destroying everything. I get thrown out of the way, I'm not sure what happens. Then I'm just sat here deflecting like any rocket that gets to me. And then he pulls out his shotgun and I die. But getting back onto the subject of Windows 8 that I was talking about. I did install that, that is now my main operating system. And uh, I had to reinstall all my software, I had to reinstall Team Fortress 2. Had to reinstall Fraps, and uh, as of right now, I haven't reinstalled Sony Vegas, which I use to edit. So I will need to uh, do install that. And if I do that, get that done today, and I can render this video today, then the video will be up today. But um, it's about like eight or nine o'clock at the moment, so I'm not sure. I, I think it's I don't know what time it is. Let's check. Okay, it's six fifty-seven. You know, pro there's a possibility that I'll upload it today. We will never know. But here I am, just coming out here, just spy checking, trying to kill as many people as I can. Run out here, shotgun this sniper to death. UCN Blackie is now dead. Uh, trying to deflect these rockets, doesn't seem to work. And my mouse just sort of spazzes out here. I'm not sure what's going on. I deflect some rockets. And uh, I'm, I'm a great teammate here. Look at this. My medic is almost about to die. I use my last ammo to, uh, to extinguish the medic, which obviously makes me a perfect team player. And I should be uh, awarded for that. So that's the situation on that. So uh, the TF2 seems to be running a bit better. And this Uber just definitely saved my life. It was probably the best Uber I've ever had. I just run out here, just start setting everyone on fire, making sure nobody can kill me. That was probably the best Uber. Even though I don't get that many picks, it was very useful. Also, just something that I want to talk about. Has anybody else been watching the i46 tournament of awesomeness? That is the uh, i46 Team Fortress 2 competitive scene. I think the grand finals of uh, Classic Mix-Up and uh, LG were on earlier. I forgot to watch. I completely forgot to watch that because I was uh, reinstalling TF2 and everything. So I missed that. I'll probably check back on that. Maybe even do a shoutcast on it, depending if uh, I can be bothered. But um, this was just a de uh, decent. Nice pyro gameplay. I've been doing quite horribly uh, at the game recently, just completely losing on every single round that I play. And um, this was just a nice way that I pinned this soldier up into the tree, um, and he just created us. That that was that was rewarding, to say the least. Um, so this medic, I'm just like setting him on fire, dodging him. Uh, he starts running away, so I. Get, uh, get back up these stairs just to grab some more ammo and then come back downstairs and I think it's now where I do this super sneaky move um, no it's not but I do some really cool stuff here and if there's just loads of people in here my medic's about to die I don't care I deflect something and I kill someone that was really cool and now I'm just running in, running in here uh, just pushing people back just killing everybody their entire team almost that was in that room was is just now dead that is probably what made this video for me. I really did want to upload that just because that was quite entertaining on how I destroyed everything and anything in the way. So that was quite cool to watch. Um, we do lose the game, uh, but we do have a nice solid defense for the majority of it. And then it, everything just goes downhill. Uh, heal, I said that weirdly. But um, you'll see what I mean in a second. I grabbed that health just to take the health away from that pyro because I'm killing this pyro I don't want him to steal the health which is obviously apparent uh, I don't want him, him to reheal so he, he has a health advantage over me so uh, I managed to uh, pick up the health so that he can't very useful 
very good tactic if uh, you are fighting like a one-to-one -one person. You just need to pick up that health so they can't pick it up. Even if you're only down like 10 health, if you know they're low on health, they'll try to get to that health box. So you need to prevent that from happening. But here we go, I'm like, yeah, only three people on the point, that's fine, I should be able to do that. Uh, I run around here, like, yeah, let's do this, oh my god, I hear a heavy, run away! I mean, uh, UCN Medic's like, yeah, I can take this, I, I got this, I'll kill everybody around here. <laughs> and so my point now here is to retreat, retreat, and I go hide in a really nice little spot that I discovered, and it's basically on this rail. I can see everybody coming through this bottom choke point where most people go. I can see people up top, which is the other direction that most people go, uh, or the only other direction that a few people go to uh, sort of go around for like a sort of flank technique. It doesn't work, you see what happens to a scout who tries that a bit later. Um, so that's that, I just thought I'd uh, show you that because that was quite cool. Uh, my nice little hiding spot. I really do recommend using that if you are trying to hide. Look at this scout, this scout, he has crits, he's ready to flank. No, you're dead. By my flames. That's the worst kind of death. And uh, you know, just, just hiding up on this little above platform, just patrolling the area is really nice. Uh, I don't even know what happens here, just immense amounts of lag just appear out of nowhere. I just, I keep reflecting, or uh, um, air pushing, air blasting, compressors, compression blast, that's the one. <laughs> I kept compression blasting that soldier away from that health pack. The mini, uh, I think it was a mini sentry, or the sentry killed me, uh, but I tried. And just from here it goes downhill, and you'll see how that goes. And I said hill, weirdly again. Uh, my commentating isn't really up to scratch, and here, I was given some ice cream. And this is probably the most problematic thing throughout this entire game. I couldn't find a place to put my ice cream. That is probably the definition of first world problems. But here I am, just walking around, I have ice cream in my hand. Um, I found out that I'll just put it on my desk. I don't care, uh, I gave up, I just put it on my desk. And uh, I realised this guy has Uber, so I'm like, yeah, let's do this, let's kill everybody out here. He pops the Uber. Just these two snipers, I could have easily taken those down. I don't, I, I kill nobody apart from the dispenser. I then run in here to kill the sentry, and then the engineer gets Ubered. Nothing went well, that Uber. I had one nice Uber before, that one was just appalling. Incredibly annoying as well. And now we see Yuzian Medic, just bossing it with his Righteous Bison, just killing everybody with that laser weapon. Uh, I do want to start doing some requested loadouts. I did get a request to do a sniper, Jurati, uh, default sniper rifle, and the bushwhacker game, and I am trying to get a nice gameplay for that. I want to do gameplays where they have some level of decency, not just absolutely appalling me dying every two seconds. But I do want some sort of standard of gameplay where I get a fair amount of kills, I do fairly well, and uh, that is what I strive and aim to do with my commentary so if you do request a loadout I'll most likely do it uh, I like trying out new loadouts sort of like Star's Discomfort Zone just giving me weird and wacky loadouts uh, I really do enjoy playing with those but um, if it does take me a bit uh, a little while to get that up and running then I do apologize that is not my fault or it is but it's because I suck really so here I am just smashing this heavy in the face, uh, I was hiding up on that little rail area again, just uh, sort of patrolling the area, making sure nobody would come through that choke point, and quite a, few, a decent amount of people drop, came through, so I dropped down and I killed that heavy, that was my main target, I should have really gone for the medic, but uh, that heavy was causing our team a lot of hassle, so I decided to kill them, let me just reload my hood, just check that that bind is working, I actually have a key binded to reload my hood, uh, and I just had to redo all my binds because I reinstalled TF2 without backing it up because smart me So here we go this pyro. I was like yeah double pyro. Where did you go? What am I doing? I'm dead again <laughs> It feels like whenever I play TF2 now It's just repeatedly me dying over and over and over and over again And you know that's not very nice, but I do manage to kill the medic uh, From the afterburn another post hummus kill or humus um, I have that strange part on my strange degreaser, so I will call it what I want. Post hummus, post hummus, yeah, let's call it that. And so, uh, just thought I'd throw out my load out here. I am using the strange degreaser, strange shotgun, and strange axe extinguisher. That is my main Team Fortress 2 pyro loadout. I do sometimes mix it up with the flare gun or the detonator, just to try out and see how well I'm doing with that. Uh, but I found the shotgun to be a lot 
better for dealing with pyros. And here we go, just stopping this engineer from getting that metal, pushing him up into the corner, and here I am. I'm just, I see UCN medic, like, ah, oh! and then he just backs up into the sentry gun, he kills the medic, which I really needed the heals from, and then the direct hit soldier just pops around the corner and shoots one direct hit into my face, and I am now dead. So that's quite appalling, and I think it is next time I die that we lose the game. I believe we're coming up to the end of this. Um, you'll see, I, I'm sat spectating a demo man whilst I'm dead, and he's just sat there watching them win the game, really. Uh, you'll see when it comes up and I'll start doing my outro then, but here I am one last heroic move I miss all the deflects and look at this I'm deflecting every single rocket that's coming at me and then UCM Blackie just jumps down or doesn't jump down Jump down. He just sits on that little ledge shooting a crit sticky at my feet, and I'm dead So it doesn't seem to be the next time I die possibly the next time I could probably go on for a while just seeing when I die They had a teleporter and sentry nest up in that base uh, and shout out to Kill Me, who gets his first deflect kill. That was very nice. But um, yeah, they have they have a sentry nest up at the top, and this is where we lose the game. There is a mini sentry on the point. What? How? That's not supposed to happen on CP George. Anyway, this demo man doing an appalling job at defending the point. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Hayden. You can see us lose now. I will see you all in the next one. Take take care. I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not good at the outros anymore. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.